Hey guys, you can see I got the chassis on the bench and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove the uh, tuning condenser, I think first, or at least the mechanism. I think before I pointed out the grommets appeared to be wore out. And looking at this, it appears to be an L bracket back to the chassis that holds the uh, tuning condenser in place. You can see the uh, three fasteners at these locations with the uh, grommets and uh, they definitely had better days. So I'll replace those during the uh, restoration process. Let's focus on the uh, front dial scale. Let me reposition the camera so we can take a look at it. It's really cool looking. And I'll go ahead and break that loose from the uh, tuning condenser, set that aside. Cool looking dial scale. The uh, tuning condenser is free, even though it's uh, stiff as a board. Let me go ahead and back the uh, pointer screw out and uh, start breaking this thing down. A simple little pointer and one quarter inch nut here. And it looks like maybe a couple other fasteners that I'll need to uh, take loose. Just two more fasteners at this location that hold the uh, dial assembly back to the shaft itself of the uh, tuning condenser. Let me uh, get my uh, needle nose on those and break those loose. Here's the first one. Let me rotate the uh, tuning condenser around so I can get the second one. Something else interesting as well, take note of the shielded conductor going back to the uh, grid of the uh, 6 Delta 6 tube. You can see the uh, shielded wire comes all the way down to this point and attaches back to the uh, tuning condenser itself. Zoom in a bit there so you can see it better. What's left of the grommet. Now let me look at the uh, physical connections here electrically back to the uh, tuning condenser. You can see the back section of the uh, tuning condenser again this being three gangs comes up from uh, underneath the chassis this black lead here. Let me go ahead and snip it off. Try to clean this up just a bit so I can see better what I'm doing. Looks like two locations uh, grounded back to the chassis. Let's go ahead and snip those. And I should still have two connections I need to remove from underneath the chassis. You can see one location here that should attach to the front gang and another one that attaches to the middle gang location here. Yeah, I misstated just a moment ago the third gang closest to the transformer, the uh, rear section has a lead from underneath as well. I'll probably just replace these. I'm going to just go ahead and snip them in close proximity to the uh, solder location. And let me see if I can get back here and get the third one. There we have it. We'll trace those leads out on the schematic at a later point to see which section is the uh, oscillator section, assuming the others broadcast and the others, that other uh, short wave band. It frees up a little space. One thing interesting, you'll notice that the uh, plates are bent on the uh, tuning condenser and it's probably intentionally done as part of the uh, alignment process. Turn this around a little bit. Even the rear section just a little out of alignment. 
not being completely straight that is the uh, center section and then of course you can see the uh, front section here the uh, back and front plates are bent I'll leave those as is for now and now we'll check things out see if it was done intentionally for the alignment process when we get to that point in the restoration Take note of the uh, power transformer as well. Actually stamped 5 Victor 1. You know, you can see some more nomenclature off to the uh, left side. Looks like uh, G630745. There'll be some stray capacitance, but you can look at the uh, capacitor itself. Just looking at the uh, first section. We're about uh, 19 picofarads, up to about uh, 357 or so. Let's look at the middle section. Three fifty-one, and the rear section three oh four. Ten point five, seventeen point two. So I'd be willing to uh, bet that the alignment process and the uh, variable trimmers that you guys can see, three of those are the differences that we're seeing on the uh, capacitance readings. Something else of interest, I had someone when they first saw the chassis didn't recognize this to be a super heterodyne receiver because they didn't see the uh, IF cans. The IF cans are located underneath the uh, chassis and the uh, trimmers are the variable capacitors to allow adjustments are on top. You've got this location. Looks like another location here. And then a location here as well. Again, this being early on from 1934. So um, a different type design for sure. Then more of your modern day cans that would be placed on top of the uh, chassis. I have not checked the IFs at this point. We'll uh, check those in the next video just to make sure nothing's open there. That will give me an opportunity to uh, study this area and uh, figure out how best to uh, remove those to do some uh, better cleaning of the uh, chassis. Thanks for watching.